going on, everybody? Welcome to week number one of our Cultivating Calm six-week series. Remind yourself the first three or four weeks are for you, and the next, the last couple weeks are about how you can integrate mindfulness into your work. So like I mentioned in the previous video on how this program works, we're always gonna start with one video that's anywhere from five to 10 minutes long with a couple of lessons, usually an informal practice, how you can incorporate mindfulness into your day, and then usually a short formal practice. So this week I want to start off with looking at the first informal practice, which is helping yourself label, is this a thought? And the thought means it might, may, could, or has happened, or is it a fact? Is it actually happening right now in this moment? Most people that come into my office, or now my digital office, will say, Mike, I'm worried about this thing that might happen, I'm worried this thing that may happen, I'm really thinking about this thing that could happen, or I'm really thinking about this thing in the past that has happened. I'll ask them, okay, what's the fact? Not what might, may, or could, or has happened, but what is the fact of what's happening right now? Think about this. Most people, when they're stuck in something that might, may, or could happen, they're making the situation worse. What is the fact of the moment? So is the fact that you're anxious? Well, we can work with anxiety in the present moment. Is the fact that you're nervous about something that might happen? The fact might be that you're mad at something did happen? We can work with all of those. What we can't do is work with what might happen six hours from now, six days from now, six weeks from now. So the first thing I want you to do, and this is a very simple process, ask yourself, is it a thought, which mean it might, may, or could, or has happened, or is it a fact, meaning it's happening right now? So start there, that's our first informal practice. Again, super simple, super easy to use, but you have to practice this. The more practice you do on labeling thought versus fact, the better your mind gets at being able to be present more often. Now the next one I wanna look at is our formal practice. We're gonna have one formal practice this week, and it's the introduction into four in and four out. And the reason I start this is I like to start with our breath because you've had your breath for as long as you've been alive, and it's always there. So you can use this at any point in time. And it starts very simply like we watch our breath, our mind might have a thought or we might think of something that might happen or could happen. We label that and we come back to our breath. We breathe in for that one, two, three, four, out the mouth, two, three, four. The mind goes, yeah, but what about this at work? Or this might happen or this could happen. Thought, come back in, one, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. In again, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. We do this over and over and over again. Yes, it's not super fun, it might be boring, but we're looking at training your brain like we are training a muscle. So every time your mind goes away and you gently bring it back and say, nope, come back here, that's repetition. The more reps you do, the stronger your mind muscle gets at being present. Why is that important? Well, the next time you go off in thoughts or thinking or what might happen or what could happen, you can stop that by saying thought, come back to your breath, breathe in for that one, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. The more reps you do, the stronger your mind gets at being more present. Then, what does that mean? You can respond to your stress in a healthier way. You can hold your stress in a healthier way instead of being so caught up in the future or the past. So the homework this week, Light homework, label thought versus fact. Use that labeling system. Is this a thought or is it a fact? And the next one, open up, breathe in for that four going in, breathe out for that four going out. That's going to be on the provided links below. All you have to do is press play for the two-minute introduction practice for this week. Now, if there's any questions that come up throughout this week or moving forward on our course, please do not hesitate to message me at mindful mike.ca or DM me directly at Mindful Massey, M-A-S-S-E. Remind yourself that this course is built for you. So I'm going to build it based off the questions I get. Now I have six weeks already laid out of material, but I'm more than happy to adjust that material to fit you who's watching it live. Okay, do not hesitate. Reach out if any questions. Talk to you soon. Looking forward to helping wherever I can. Bye for now.